welcome delegates this is the first orientation session that we are uploading as in digitally uploading yeah i am sadipta ghosh the head of international press balwantra mehta vidya bhavan model united nations in this session we shall discuss something about background guides what to submit before the conference and what to submit during the conference i will give you a gist of the order of events and we will recap i will also give you hints on the next orientation session now background guides i had sent a whatsapp audio message on our group if you have not heard it i am playing it right now Good morning delegates I am Sudipta Ghosh head of the international press BNBB model united nations conference 2018 I know you guys are having your half yearly exams these days and we hope you are performing well in the exams I just had a quick update for you guys the team of the judges uh, which will be known as the chair for each committee is preparing a background guide for each committee it is a just a study guide but uh, you all will having the questions like uh, what is a background guide what will you do with it when will you get it etc so we'll discuss that right now it is just a booklet that has some uh, starting information that can help you with some information when you are starting with the research when you are finding out the material at the first now what it exactly contains i will tell you the first section will contain about the committee it will have some information about the history of the committee what it can do what it cannot do next is introduction of why we are discussing the agenda then we will have the content it will have some important data facts figures then we will have some country positions what each country has done up till now whether things are worse where it is better etc we will also be listing some important work done by some ngos some countries what policies they have taken if they have succeeded or failed etc after that each uh, background guide will have four topics in it so now why four topics we already had a topic actually these topics are the sub topics uh, of the agenda of each committee we will be actually having a simple vote on the first day of the conference like uh, some will choose topic a to be discussed first but some might say topic c should be discussed first etc so the judges will ask you to vote on that so that is why we are having four different topics if you cannot uh, give get it, uh, get information on a single topic you will have opportunities to then we have a section called appendix now appendix will list some important websites and documents you can refer to for starting now this background guide might not contain all the information that you will need for writing everything or getting every information for your debate but we hope that it uh, covers the basic areas so all the best for your exams uh, yes uh, you will get the background guides after you have finished with your exams that is uh, around the 14th or 15th october because some of the guys uh, are having exams up to 15th october so yeah around uh, 10 or 15th october you will get the background guides and we will share it on the whatsapp group we will upload it on the website and also we will email you the background guides so thank you we will meet at the conference so starting from this i want to show you what our background guides are looking right now these are not the final guides i am just showing you these are our background guides it has a forward a letter 
from the secretary table of contents about the committee introduction definition of some terms general overview this is just for UNEP it is not yet complete country positions Argentina, Australia etc which countries are participating only those will be included in this timeline of major events this is only in UNEP I think projections major parties involved some governments work by NGOs statistics facts and figures facts some climate change performance index attempts to resolve the issue the solutions that had already been discussed in the past the United Nations what are they doing these are the right efforts by NGOs connect for climate etc these are the possible solutions that we have put forward now topic A topic B topic C topic D not yet complete don't complain topic A B C and D we will have voting on what to discuss and what not to appendix some websites some videos some documents you can see these and get started with your research the more you will research the easier it will become bibliography from where we have taken the information from it's important because we are doing a professional conference back to the presentation now what to submit what do we want from you guys first is the position paper that has to be submitted well before the conference and resolution paper that has to be submitted during the conference position paper a legal document nothing else a small short document don't get intimidated first of all write the name of your committee and country on a sheet of paper or on a word document whatever you feel right then write the name of the all the topics because you have to submit a position for each topic now write a small paragraph maximum hundred words discussing your country's position or stand on the topic it should also answer the focus questions given in the background guide that will be handed over to you you can actually read the position paper as the base content for your opening speech maximum one and a half page it will alert the chair that you are speaking this and that easily you can fetch marks from here and yes if you do not submit a position paper you will be disqualified from getting any award not a long document no extra demands submit it no issues before 23rd of October because after that our chair might not have the time to check them you can submit it either online or offline to the organizing committee to the teachers no issues this is a sample position paper that I have uh, taken from a website and you can see they have written the name of the committee first line you have to also mention these for example if you are in UNEP write committee colon United Nations environment program country your country name topic A B C D you will get it from the background guide this is just an example as we can see this is the position of Romania on this issue 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lines. How many words? I did not count. Okay, so this is actually short a paragraph writing, you can say. I will share this presentation on our WhatsApp group also. You can see it over there. Resolution paper, again a document. This document is shorter than the position paper and this has to be submitted during the conference on the spot. And why we are saying on the spot and that is why you need to do the your research. That is why you need to have your country profile ready. It should first contain the name of the committee and the countries who are sponsoring or signing the resolution. Sponsors and signatories. I am explaining first. Sponsors are those countries who write the resolution paper, do the writing work. And signatories are the countries which you approach uh, to get them accepted. You, because you need, as mentioned, at least five countries should agree with your resolution and sign on them. So you have to have sponsors, five signatories. Resolution paper contains resolution as the name suggests. These are the solutions that you as a delegate, as the delegate of a country, put forward in the United Nations. It shall have preambulatory clauses, in short preamps, operative clauses of clauses. Also you have to ensure that you submit the resolution paper. Your, na uh, your country's name should either be in the sponsors or signatories. Even if you are not writing, please be a signatory. If you are not a signatory, not a sponsor, sorry, you are disqualified. And submit it only when the chair asks you to do so. Preamps. Preambulatory clauses. These are sentences, the starting sentences. With these preambulatory clauses or preamps, as a delegate, you recognize the efforts. If some country has done something, you recognize them. It is important that you recognize the effort of any NGO. It should be general to the topic. It should have uh, it should uh, list its significance, its impact on your country or the countries who are making the resolution, who are the sponsors. They should start with some stock words or phrases like affirming, alarmed by, approving, confident, declaring that, desiring, emphasizing and all. You can pause and see them or I will share it on the group. Moving forward, up clauses, operative clauses. These are the statements that list the solutions that you have decided. You as a delegate of a country. They should be underlined. The first word should be underlined even in preamps and the up clauses. All these should be underlined. They should start with words like accepts, approves, authorizes, calls upon, confirms, congratulates, etc. Pause and see them, note them, or I will share it on the group, see them from, from there. Now this is a sample resolution paper. First the name of the committee, General Assembly in this case. Ignore this part, the resolution GA3. 1.1 ignore that sponsors united states austria and italy these countries have written the resolution paper the sample signatories greece tajikistan japan canada mali netherlands these have agreed to it or signed the resolution the topic okay yes resolution should be single topic only choose a topic that is most important to your country or to you there should be only one topic for a resolution you can submit different resolutions but 
each resolution should be one topic only like the position unlike the position paper which had all the four topics discussed this will be a single topic thing first of all the name of the committee the general assembly because you are addressing the committee it can be the unit the unsc the unhrc now after the salutation come the preamps preambulatory clauses these are the words noting stressing that should be underlined the first word these are the clauses noting and it should not uh, be as uh, sophisticated as listed here that all that all that it can be one liners so these are preamps 3 to 5 preamps this is a sample i have cut short now after that give some space give some margin indentation then list the operative clauses up clauses encourages is underlined urges calls request this is a sample you can make it one liners we are just starting out everyone is a one first time delegate no need to worry be calm now draft resolution same as a resolution paper which you draft it is a uh, rough resolution paper as you can see the draft resolution should be ready by the mid conference as our conference is spread over two days so the mid conference is the end of the first day you should have your draft resolution ready the uh, rough resolution that you are going to submit because uh, it will be helpful you no longer need to do anything extra on the second day if you have your draft resolution ready it will be easier for you now the order of events if you have any questions up to this point please message me on whatsapp we have our email ready messages message us and uh, even you can contact us on our website we have a contact form there contact us on instagram facebook wherever you find comfortable order of events day 1 you will report to the venue a school you will come to the school will have we will have opening ceremony attendance will be carried out then you will vote for the topic and after voting for the topic we will not uh, just then we will not uh, declare the results first you will have opening speeches opening speech just justifies why you are voting for that agenda more about speeches and caucus debates in the next session then the chair will set the agenda they will say that this is the agenda for today and we will discuss that agenda for the day moderated caucus unmoderated caucus what are those next session then submission of draft resolutions you have to submit your draft resolutions and that is why i had said that be ready with your draft resolutions on the first day we will vote on the draft resolutions and this vote will be informal because if you have made any mistakes in the draft in the resolutions it will be easier to correct no marks will be detected if you fi- if we find any mistake in the draft resolutions so put all your effort in the draft resolution thing on uh, for the position uh, for the resolution paper make the draft resolution good then the session will be adjourned for the day we will have lunch and go home fast forward day 2 we will report to the venue again school come to school attendance we will vote for the topic we will have opening speeches the chair will set the agenda we will have moderated and unmoderated caucus you will submit the final resolutions now we will vote on resolutions if any resolution contradicts any country they will say that you have to make changes those are amendments we will discuss those then the session will be adjourned and you will head towards the award ceremony we will be having three awards probably what are those awards i will list them in the next session 
we will have then lunch and then a social evening cultural program type thing <coughs> sorry so that was it for this session i hope you liked it thank you